You're tired because you're spending time with the wrong people doing the wrong things that you don't even want to do, which is ultimately putting you out of alignment. The natural energy that you have is being sucked out of you. Your soul is getting sucked out of you and not in the good type of way. You are tired because you're out of alignment. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about getting back into alignment and getting that energy back. But before I get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe on this channel. I talk about all things self-development. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. Think about your favorite thing that you love to do. No, really, think about it. Do you have enough energy to do that at all times? It is your birthright to feel like that at every single moment. Don't give excuses to yourself. Oh, I have to work. I have to do all of these responsibilities. But did you know that if you're in alignment 24 seven, you can actually get these things done, no problem. But we need to start prioritizing what makes us happy first and then. Does that make sense? We are making ourselves happy first and then we are doing the responsibilities and then we are going to work and then we are deciding to change a major thing in our lives, creating a completely different life for ourselves. By the way, yes, I cut my hair. I totally forgot to say, but Yes, I feel like a brand new woman. I feel amazing and I'm so excited for this brand new change. I was on vacation in Mexico. Do you know what I did? I was doing what made me feel happy on a moment to moment basis. And that resulted in me going to the gym every single day because that's what made me happy in that moment. I was literally going so hard, hitting my PRs, losing weight, being fit without AC in a hot Tulum climate in the summertime, yes. And I was absolutely enjoying my life and really living life to the fullest because I was true to myself, I was true to what I wanted instead of what other people want of me or what society tells you to do on vacation. And I lived my best life and I had the best vacation ever. We need to be bringing this way of thinking to our everyday lives and recognizing that we are able to do the things that we are meant to do, like our responsibilities are going to work when we do get into this alignment. Like for example, say you're working a night shift and you don't wanna do night shifts anymore and you feel like you can't control that. You can tell yourself, I can't control the situation right now. Everything is happening in divine timing for me. The universe has my back. This is happening for a reason. I know that when I look back, I'll understand why it is that I was doing night shifts. I'll understand that. Or you can say, hey, I have the entire day to myself. I can sleep in, I can go to the beach. I can run my errands without anyone annoying me because everyone's at work. And you know what? Night shifts aren't so bad because they're less busier because I can chill more. So you can soothe yourself directly into the thing that you don't want to do, or you can not distract yourself, but put yourself in a high vibration by concentrating on something that makes you happy, makes you excited. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that thing. For example, today, I just woke up in a bad mood. Did I sit with myself and dig down deep internally into the depths of my being and try to fix and heal my past traumas and understand and realize as to why I was in a bad mood in the morning. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Makes it a lot funner to shake my head. Kind of tickles my shoulders. I said, I don't want to fix this right now. I accept where I am in my life. I accept how I'm feeling right now. I am excited because I'm getting pampered at the hairdresser right now. I'm going in and I'm going to have a total complete makeover and I'm gonna feel like a brand new person and I'm going to have fun. If I'm not, then that's okay too. That's life and I accept it. The feeling didn't go away, but I felt more at ease and my experience at the hairdresser felt like it was flowing smoother. The hairdresser was nice to me. The service was incredible. The way that it turned out was absolutely divine. The rest of my night was and is going very well. If you ease yourself into the feeling of feeling bad or feeling like you don't wanna do something, that works so much. And it really just depends on your mood 
or like I said, you can soothe yourself directly about that thing. But personally me, I like to accept where I am. And the second that I accept it, I'm not resisting it and I'm able to just have it with me. I'm not moving on. I'm feeling crappy, okay. And at the same time, I'm recognizing what I like in my life right now, in the present moment, and also just in general. I'm grateful for my job, my position, where I live, the relationships that I have in my life. That doesn't mean that you're going to turn into this high vibrational spiritual being in one second, but you are transitioning into a higher vibrational state by doing that. Therefore, you are getting into alignment with your being and what you want to do. And even when you are in a bad mood or you're doing something that you don't wanna do, it's easier for you now and you feel like you have more energy because you're not using your internal natural energetic resources on bullshit. You are tired constantly because you are not where you're meant to be. You are not accepting where you are right now and you are not following your true north. You're not following what makes you happy. Yes, work can be annoying. We can make the most of it at every single moment. What can I do? Find someone to laugh with to have a good time with, or listen to music, or grab a cup of coffee, or have a walk around the office just because. Listen to your favorite playlist or podcast. Plan what you're going to be doing after work with your friends. Go to a new spot after work that you've never been to with your friends. And that's going to seep in every single area of our lives. And it's gonna to get to the point where you're gonna be able to sleep six, seven hours, and every step that you take, you're gonna feel like cloud nine because you're aligned. You are where you're meant to be. Everything in your life is connected and everything has to be aligned. I know that that sounds complicated, but it's really not. All it is, is sitting down right now and feeling what you feel. How do you feel right now? Is it a positive emotion? Any positive emotion. I am neutral. I'm happy. I am interested. I'm curious. I'm excited for any range of emotions. Whatever you're feeling right now, if you're feeling positive, you are in alignment. And I want you to keep concentrating on things that make you feel that positive way. Whether it is hanging out with the right people, whether it's going to the gym, whether it's going to get your nails done, whether it's working on a side project that's really, really fun for you, whether it's going on TikTok and making a bunch of TikToks, whether it's talking to your best friend or your boyfriend or planning a fun trip. Literally, the world is your oyster. I am telling you right now, people need permission slips sometimes. This is your permission slip to do what makes you happy. This is your permission slip that says, the world is your oyster. Not hers, not his. The world is your oyster, yours. Oh, the world doesn't revolve around you. Yes, it does. It revolves around your life, your specific life, because it's your life, it's your world, it's your universe, it's your perspective. Hell yeah, it does revolve around me. Hell yeah, it does revolve around you. It revolves around everyone. We're staying in our lanes. We're hanging out with people that make us happy. We're doing things that make us happy, not things that you think are gonna make you happy, the things that are actually making you happy. Use your feelings with this, not your mind, okay? As soon as you find that, you will start to have energy to the point where you're not gonna need coffee. You're not gonna need sleep. You're going to be doing everything that you've ever wanted to do naturally. You're gonna have natural energy because you're in alignment. And don't underestimate yourself. Every single person has this internal feeling of, do I feel good right now? Does this action make me feel good right now? If it doesn't and you have the option or the control or the choice to not do it, don't do it. If you have to do it and you know that you have to and it's your responsibility, we are accepting that and we are looking at something that we can do in that moment that will make us happy. Whether it's music, as I said, coffee, whatever, whatever it is. And or we're soothing the situation. And it's not always gonna be like this. I'm doing this to save up. I have the option and the choice to look for other jobs. I am open and receptive to whatever the universe is wanting for me, right? 
So you have no energy, even if you've slept for nine hours and had five coffees, because you are out of alignment with what you are meant to be doing. Your internal guidance system knows exactly what you need to be doing at every single point in time. And how does that internal guidance system tell you this? It tells you this by your mood. What is your mood telling you? I am happy right now because I'm filming a YouTube video. I'm gonna be happy when I edit this YouTube video. I try to focus on doing things that make me happy than not. And I try to have this be in my control at all times. Sometimes I can't control it. Sometimes I go into work with a shitty mood. What do I do in this case? I get a coffee and I listen to music. And that never fails to boost my mood up. But we want to prop ourselves up into the best position possible. And it's not just about having coffee and surrounding yourself with good people. It's about taking care of your health, your looks. Every part of your life has to make you feel good. And sometimes we don't know what's good for us in this current moment, right? But what we can do is listen to our internal guidance system as of right now and be led to that direction because it's life and it can't be perfect all the time. For example, 2022, I very much pushed many people away and I was in my house and I don't regret that for a second because I have had many revelations that I have already started putting action into in my life this year, right? And my way of thinking about the world is elevated. Like I have a freedom sort of way of looking at life. It's not just boxed in. I recognize that I deserve anything that I want and I can get it. If I want to move to Dubai tomorrow, I can do that. I am the master of my reality. I can manifest anything that I want. I woke up, I decided that a really short haircut is my vibe and a short haircut is my vibe all of a sudden. Didn't think I was gonna go there again but here I am. I then recognized that pushing people away and going inwards internally while at that chapter of my life, it was good for me and I needed that. I recognized that I need friends in my life, obviously. But again, I needed to go through that without anyone. It's sort of like a spiritual awakening. If you've ever had a spiritual awakening, you would know that you go through that by yourself. You meditate, you go inward, you heal your traumas, you heal everything that you need to heal. I don't believe that you need to be healing all the time as well, because the more you, you're digging deep into your childhood traumas, you are making that your reality again. Your reality is whatever you focus on right now. So focus on the things that you want and you're gonna get more of it. Little bit of a tangent, but irregardless, in the grand scheme of things, a whole year, yes, that looks like a very long time. However, now I have realized that to be in my ultimate alignment, I need to be surrounded by good people that lift my mood up, that lift my spirits, right? And that was a very long way of understanding that a whole year, but this is a journey. So don't beat yourself up about this. You're learning every single day about what is meant for you and what makes you happy. I hope that this video made sense. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. Don't forget to like this video because I know you loved it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Perfect.